In today's episode, we explore how to build a life you don't need a vacation from. Have you ever found yourself counting down the days until your next getaway? What if instead every day felt just as fulfilling? In this episode, we will dive into practical ways to enjoy your life every single day. And if you're ready to stop living for the weekends or holidays and start thriving in your everyday moments, you are in the right place. Let's get started on creating a life you truly love. My goal is to build a life I don't need a vacation from. This is a quote by Rob Hill Sr., which I came across a couple of days ago when I reflected on a few realizations that kind of came together over the last week. I talked about this on an earlier episode as well of the podcast, that I don't only want to enjoy my life when I'm on holiday or traveling. I don't want to keep looking forward to that next holiday. Instead, I want to enjoy every single day and not even need a vacation. And the topic came up again over the last months and this week when I was away with my sister, nieces and nephew. I reflected this week on the typical holiday that I would have had in the past. Either it consisted of um, an all-inclusive holiday club for doing nothing and just relaxing, or it would be traveling to a new country and exploring a new location. And I know obviously that there are a lot of other kinds of vacation out there. It means something different for each one of us. And of course it can change as well over time. I'm just now putting more and more focus on enjoying my everyday life. So I don't need a vacation from my life because that's truly what it is, right? That's what it was for me for such a long time until just a few years ago counting the weeks and then the days until the next vacation is there where I could escape from this reality for a period of time and then coming back being sad about that it's over and the recovery of the holiday being completely gone by the third day back to work. I think you know what I'm talking about. So if this resonates with you I invite you to ask yourself the question would you not want to rather live a life that is enjoyable, has enough variety, is a little bit adventurous and has as well enough space for relaxation and recovery? Because I do. <laughs> I want to enjoy every day as much as I can and not just the days where I can escape to a remote island or into the mountains. And obviously, in this episode, I will share with you how I go about this and what I want to do even more of. But I want to be first clear that this has nothing to do with making huge changes in your life to be able to do that, or that it costs a lot of money or takes a lot of time. That's not what it's about. It's more about the inner change of your mindset and your energy towards the life that you're already living. I want to give you today a chance for a new perspective on life, on your life. And I mean, what is the other option to keep going like this? Always just yearning for just for the next weekend, the next holiday or even retirement. And in the course of it, just wasting so much time living a life you think is just not worth enjoying, celebrating or appreciating. That cannot be the answer to life, right? This cannot be what we're supposed to be doing with life. Exactly my thought and that's why I am turning it completely around and deciding to live an enjoyable life every day where I don't even want to go on a holiday. So let me share with you three things that contributed the most to getting me to where I am today. And then I will even share with you a personal intention, so to say, something I want to do more of to even enjoy my days more. 
So the first thing that I want to share with you is to disrupt the cycle. I know I talked about this in last week's episode already in much more detail, but being more present helped me to get out of the rut of thinking that I had to escape my everyday life. This way of thinking is an automated program that keeps running and running and running until you disrupt it. And if you don't step into the present moment and disrupt that cycle, you never have the chance to even have a different thought or have a different kind of perspective on the life that you're living. The practice of being more present has supported me in stepping out of those automated thought cycles and reflecting if these are the thoughts that I actually want to have and if they are helpful for me to actually enjoy my life. For example, it could be how I think about a colleague at work that triggered me in a meeting just an hour earlier. I could stay in that triggered state, in that cycle, and go on and on and on about how rude that person was, or I could disrupt the cycle and stop thinking about this. Just let it go. Get back to enjoying your day instead. The skill of being able to get out of your own head and stop is probably the most helpful for you to be able to change your mindset and your perspective about your everyday life. If you currently think, for example, that your job is too stressful and too demanding, then I invite you to continuously disrupt that way of thinking when you're at work. And then when you disrupted that cycle, reflect. Reflect on that present moment and what is actually happening for you. Is it truly stressful and demanding in that present moment and actually therefore then for most of your day or is it maybe just like an hour of your day and the rest is actually not that stressful? And if that's what you discover when you keep disrupting your thinking processes, then celebrate it and change your way of thinking about your job. Don't make this statement of my job is 100% stressful, too stressful and demanding, if that's not really the case. Do you get what I mean? The second thing that I'm telling you will help you in that process is stop doing what you don't want to do. And with that, I don't mean now quit your job and get yourself into debt, okay? That's not what I'm talking about. I want you to think much, much, much smaller on the level of everyday life. There are hundreds, if not thousands of actions we take every single day, things we do and behaviors that we display. How about taking an inventory and finding the ones that make you not enjoy your day and then obviously get rid of them? What are things that you could actually say goodbye to, but out of habit or fear, you just haven't done it? This is another skill that you can practice to enjoy your day more, letting go of things that just don't serve you anymore. What could these things look like? Well, let me give you a few examples. For example, one of my personal examples is drinking decaf coffee instead of normal coffee so your tummy doesn't hurt. Or you could stop texting with a friend constantly who is only complaining, judging and talking behind people's backs and zapping all of your energy. Just don't text back. Just let it go. Or before you are already fully stressed and rushing into the office in the morning, just take two minutes for yourself and just breathe. Two minutes of calming down your nervous system before you go into the office where you're going to spend the next five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours can change the complete trajectory of your day. Another example would be in the category of your hobbies or things you do even outside of work. You, for example, could let go of a voluntary position that you have been doing for three years because your heart is not really in it anymore. So get over your guilt and start believing that you have already given enough of your time and energy over the last years and you deserve to start doing something you actually enjoy with your time. You don't have to know what that is yet, okay? But you know what? You have to let go first before something better can come into your life. 
It doesn't work the other way around. Trust and let go. And you will be rewarded with something so much better and more enjoyable. And the third point is make your enjoyment a priority. And really what I meant to say was make yourself a priority. In a non-selfish and non-self-absorbed way, you need to come first in your life for you to be able to enjoy it more. It's just what it is. It's as simple as that. If you put everyone and everything before you, there will never be the time or space or energy for you to even reflect if you're enjoying your life. You couldn't be even doing that because that would mean you are currently not people-pleasing but being selfish, so you can't do that. I tell you that it's just so important for you and everyone around you that you are putting yourself and your enjoyment first, minimum at certain times of your day or week. Is it nicer to live with a person who is stressed out, miserable, and always complains about how exhausted they are at the end of the day, or with a person who's taking time for themselves and comes back full of energy and laughter? Which person would you like to share a house with? So do you not think it would be better for the people in your life if you take your time and energy back and focus on what brings you enjoyment? Don't they deserve to have this role model in their life so they learn how to put their enjoyment first too? If we would all just focus more on ourselves and not on others, we would live in a much happier and more relaxed place. And like I mentioned, this does not need a lot of time or money. But what it does need from you is courage to set some new boundaries in your life. So the question is, are you worth that effort? Obviously, the answer is yes, in case you were wondering. (laughs) Next, I'm going to share with you my new intention, an intention to build an even better everyday life for me, not to need or even want the vacation. It's about mixing up my evening routine. For decades, I have had the routine of watching TV nearly every evening. If I'm at home and I'm not out and about doing something else, I will always end up on the sofa watching some show or movie. And for years, I have been telling myself that I'm wasting my time. Don't get me wrong, I love watching good shows and movies, but it truly does not have to be every free evening. So I'm going to change that. I will still keep a couple of nights in the week for watching movies, but on other nights I want to do things that I would do more on holiday, like reading a book, creating some art, maybe doing some other little projects or playing a game. These are all things that seem to only be fun once you are on holiday. Why? Why can it not make fun when you are at home too? For example, reading a book. It doesn't only have to be reading the book. I can make it more special and make myself, for example, a really yummy hot chocolate and put the fireplace on. Or in the summer, I could make myself a mocktail and sit on the terrace while reading my book. I know that I will enjoy those moments and I will enjoy myself once I get over that habit, that automated program of just turning on the TV. I'm sure you will know what I'm talking about. You will have your own automated program that you're happy to let go of, but it's just so hard, right? I just have to get over myself and do those things that I do enjoy when I'm on holiday. These are not just fun in far locations. (laughs) No, you can make them fun as well at home. So bring the fun you usually just have on holiday into your everyday life. And if you want to have more support in how to change your thinking, how to disrupt those cycles, how to stop those habits or change them, and how to get a new perspective in your everyday life, then I invite you to join us inside Energy Academy. This is an online self-paced program where you learn everything you need to know about transformational change and you get all the tools to actually make it happen. And in addition, you get to hang out with me and ask me anything you want on a monthly basis. I'm here for you if you are ready. 
So head over to lindalange.com forward slash energy academy for more information and to sign up. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Remember, life isn't just about those vacation moments. It's about making each day a little bit more vibrant, joyful and true to who you are. Just take small steps, embrace change and build a life you don't need to escape from. You got this. And with that, I love you and leave you. Talk soon and bye-bye.